Hi, welcome back to another collection guide on uh, mission four of uh, Sniper Elite Five. So this one's called War War Factory. I'm going to say War Academy then, but uh, no, this is War Factory. So first one straight off the bat. Um, it's quite easy to find. Basically, it's on route, so you got you have to go this way no matter what. Um, so with all the collectibles, I will put the map up so you can get the exact location to find them. Also, I put a timestamp in the uh, description also. So if you're looking just for a specific collectible, it's just easy to find. Just check out the description. But that's the uh, that's the first one. Second one, we've got some enemies in here, but uh, take these out. Just make it easier for yourself to uh, find the next collectible. There's a little side mission around here as well, so you might want to do this at the same time. I just went past it then. So, yeah, in this little brick building here, there's a in the corner. We have another second of the personal letters. So I'm going to make his way right outside this building into like some kind of junkyard and uh, to your left as soon as you enter it there will be a hidden item on these little uh, irons, these steels, That's, uh, which is a gold pocket watch. That's your first hidden, hidden item. Pick that one up and make your way around this uh, junk pile around here underneath the uh, digger and on, our, on another set of steels we have a it's your uh, first classified document so if you've seen on the map we've got this little uh, warehouse foundry style place so you want to in here there will be a one of the officers with a personal letter. He's usually on the first floor. I will point it out so where he hangs around. So he's usually uh, on this first floor balcony here. So he'll be around there. That's where I took him out as well. There's also a smelting pot in its maintenance position. Part of the mission here as well. Right so over the furnace. Just to show you what he looks like. So as soon as you've killed him, Better check the body. kill all the enemies as well, just to make it easier. And uh, so we'll just sabotage this part of the mission. Well, that was easy. Moving on. So what we he's given us a key, and um, there's two rooms down the bottom here. One you can unlock, like pick it sort of thing, and the other one needs a key. This one here, which is, it's like this one, if you've got a satchel charge, but I find on this level, satchel charge is uh, quite hard to find. But yeah, if you kill that guard, and he'll give you a key, and you'll get into this room here. And this will be your first workbench, which is your pistol pistol workbench in that room. Find that one. And can't get through this door, so we'll go back outside and go through to the control room. And we'll pick the lock. You can just get into this building so you don't have to need a key or a saddle charge, you can just pick the lock. Or you can break the lock with uh, some bolt croppers. And we have another uh, document, classified document. So as soon as you pick these two items up in this uh, foundry, this warehouse. Make your way out of the building. 
be like another foundry just over the uh, over the little road. Pretty much next to this warehouse, so they're pretty much next to each other. And in the corner, the right left corner towards head here, there's uh, another pit lock. Get into this room. And there's a little hole in the floor. <coughs> Excuse me, coffin. And this will be your second workbench is your rifle workbench it's quite hidden so easily missing but pick up some um, ammo there's no satchel charges um, so if you do find one uh, keep them for later on because you might need them a bit later so as soon as you Go back out the same way you came in and just ahead of you there's a ladder just to go down. It'll take you like to the ground floor and bottom of the ladder there is another personal letter just lying on some uh, on some pallets or boxes. So this is where we're going to go for the next collectible, which is the next building just in front. There will be some enemies in front, so just, just take these out. You can take them out at a distance. As soon as you go in, um, go up this ladder, there's a little room. letter so it should only ask the fourth of the fifth one so mark that on the map um, head towards this building here and before you get to it on the on the big round foundry down to your left there is a stone eagle on top of it underneath some cranes I have marked on the map for you. Should be fine. That's your first stone eagle. So we'll make his way around to this building here. This is where we was going to in the first place. Not some stairs. But instead of going into the building at the moment, um, we're just going to make his way to the end of this. Uh, alleyway sort of thing and uh, if you look over where it is on the map there is another stone eagle it's quite camouflage against a stone building so it's uh, just make kind of note where it is on the map so don't go down the uh, don't go down the ladder just yeah we're going to turn around and in this little building there's another classified document which is uh, just sitting on the table pick that one up that'll be a third classified document so while we're up here we're going to go into that building over there so we're going to want to go down this ladder for some reason you can't get up the ladder so don't go down before you pick up that classified document so yeah, we're going to just make his way in this little uh, railway building. Uh, well, I just pointed out, so you're just going to go down these stairs. Don't run past any enemies, like I nearly did. Um, 
thinking inside here is another workbench. If uh, memory serves me right. Or is it? No, it's not. It's another personal letter. For some reason I thought it was a workbench. But that's the, uh, that's the personal letter. So we're going to make his way where that stone eagle was. We spotted that first stone eagle. Uh, it's uh, shown on the map and um, another personal letter. Should be a last personal letter, I think. This part of the map, you, you're making your way, like you're going back on yourself a couple of times. Yeah, that's uh, that sheriff's notebook. Now this bit, uh, yeah, ah, damn. I, think I'm I did actually right. spend about 15 minutes going round searching for a satchel charger, and I couldn't find one anywhere. So there's um, there's two guards with two like uh, one with an armory key and one with a safe key, and you always hang around. I'll actually uh, oh. take this uh, sniper out. Shot at. I will show you the location of these two uh, officers which uh, hold the keys. They tend to hang about this little uh, building here, this armory. tend to hang around between this um, armory and uh, just the building to the left in front so I've already killed them so I'll show you the two now so it's around here somewhere where is he there he is on the floor so this is the first officer with the armory key And uh, just uh, to the right of him is the other officer with the uh, safe key, which you're going to need for the uh, for the safe for the next uh, classified document. But luckily, uh, there is a. If you get in here, here um, use your armory key. Um, there is actually a satchel charge in here, so you can pick that up and uh, use it on your safe if you require. But uh, yeah, in this armory is uh, the third SMG workbench. And uh, also pick up a satchel charge or any extra ammo <laughs> if you need. If any luck, it'll lead me straight to the and crack. To that building in front, we have a. Uh, Another classified document somewhere. Here it is lying on the just lying on these boxes here. I know it was around in here somewhere. So that's your uh, hidden item. One of boxes. And we're coming same building. There's a little office at the end, and this is where the safe is. So you could either, either use picked up a satchel, ch satchel charge, which was in the armory, or use that uh, safe code from the uh, officer, which you picked up this uh, safe key Medicals. from. And that gives you your last classified document. So, seeing as you just uh, emptied the safe, rifled the safe, just come out of these stairs, out the building. And uh, on these stairs, or a bit below, uh, on that little factory right in the distance near the chimney, there should be another stone eagle. If I can spot it, somewhere around there, not that chimney. Ah, there we are. Right in the distance. point it out on the map so yeah it's right out in the distance so it's very hard to 
very easy to miss so yeah shoot that that gives you your uh, stone eagle collectible so we should all only be having one left now which is the last hidden hidden item which is in that little warehouse here where the train train lines go so just bear right up these little stairs to the end of the building should be your last hidden item so it was uh hope this little guide helped you out to completing all the collectibles for mission five if it did yeah leave us a like and um yeah leave a subscribe as well i do appreciate all your support and uh join me in the next one for uh mission five um i'm currently uh, working my way through it now so hopefully see you then guys